Saturday, guys, it is a uh, Tuesday morning. Feeling a little bit tired today, still not sleeping that well. Uh, as you, you know, it's been a bit of a stressful couple of weeks and a lot going on as well. So, really busy and stuff behind the scenes as well. But, uh, ready for a great day today uh, here at Rocks Lane Sports Centre in West London. Got a session with uh, young uh, David Botang, he's a young Crystal Palace uh, pro. Uh, plays in 23s. He just recently worked, moved to like a right back position. Uh, so we've been working the last couple of weeks with him. Tell you what, he's explosive. I think he's going to be a top player. He's a top player already, but I think he's really going to make some uh, waves this coming season, uh, especially potentially with uh, Wana Basaka leaving as well. Uh, some space for him there. So really enjoy working with him. He's really eager. He's got a lot of desire to learn. Uh, really been buzzing actually in the sessions with him. So we're going to do a session with him, then fly up to the other pitch and chis it around the corner. Then got a session with um, Max Ahrens and one of his mates who plays at Luton. Obviously, Max now a Premier League player in this, in this coming season, another right back. So I'm going to do some high-intensity and technical work, some uh, some physical outcomes as well with his partner to so get some 1v1 practices going. And then Josh McEachern and Junior Elstor after that as well. So another physically demanding session for them boys. Uh, lots of combat type stuff as well. That's what I really like. And some shooting and finishing as well mixed into that. Get a bit of content for Insta. Then fly up to um, Mill Hill, uh, where we're at Young Jamaica, a little uh, young young girl uh, from North London, and um, really enjoy working for her. She's a, she's a great player, great desire, great attitude as well. Uh, technically ability is fantastic, strikes the ball superbly. So really nice, uh, interesting, usual, lots of different sort of uh, some, uh, clients today. And then uh, rolling into the rest of the week. So last few days really of the, the pro sessions this week, next week as well, got some working with some female pros, which will be good as well. So it'll be interesting, some new clients and some uh, working with Helen Ward again, who's a top uh, pro from Watford, plays for Wales as well. So that's a good challenge. And then, uh, then basically transitioning into July when and I've got several players from around the world visiting to do some intensive training over July and then really just making plans for the new season and it's quite challenging actually within it so busy trying to get the con keep getting the content out as well so we're obviously working on the new uh, program a couple of new programs for the app which will hopefully be finished around september but uh, it's all go as usual and i hope we're going to show you guys a bit what's going on here when you ready weak foot let's do it in out sharp good quick it good cut Step, explode, good, open it up. Jump back, good, Maradona. Drive out, double and out, explode. One, two, explode, drive out. Shots off. Explosive, go. Hi, my name's David. I play for Crystal Palace as a right back. I'm working with Saw today, and I've been working with him. I've been working on explosive movement, my one-on-ones, one-v-ones, and my crossing. And I've been enjoying it and hopefully I can go back to Palace fit and ready for the season. Looks Thanks. like you're blowing a little bit. Hard work? Yeah, very, very hard work. But I've enjoyed it and I'm going to keep pushing myself and keep going. been here today working with Saul and some technical work. Um, I definitely recommend it if you're looking to improve technically um, and physically. So yeah, been a really good session.
So guys, great couple of sessions there. Uh, first one with Max and Arthur. Uh, Arthur, I'll tell you what, he's got some uh, left foot on him. Just really is more focused on Max's outcomes there, getting him ready for this Premier League season. So he worked a lot on uh, finishing on the right-hand side of the box, crossing, uh, a lot of receiving skills, and obviously then we did a bit of uh, shooting as well. And then onto that great session, another great session with uh, Josh and Junior. Uh, really focus on getting Josh ready for the, for the new season. So I look a lot more physical outcomes for Josh. We want to do a bit more running. We saw some good quality technical work. So great session. Got some great content as well for Insta, which is great. Uh, got a quick meeting now. Uh, might try and get a quick swim in and then up to Mill Hill for the last session of the day with Jamaica. So uh, looking forward to that one. Certainly, guys, it is uh, Thursday morning. Uh, feeling a bit tired this morning. Always feel a bit tired on a Thursday uh, after Rebel training or game on a Wednesday night and obviously my sleep pattern's been up and down. It's a busy time here and as you know, my dad's not well, so it's been a bit of a stressful time. So it's all up in the air, but uh, feeling good this morning. The sun is out, on my way to the gym to see my man like Tao to get some work in, trying to get my, uh, my own fitness levels up, uh, ready for the new season. Uh, but great game last night, played Rebel, played last night. I'll tell you what, some of the best football we've played uh, for a long time. And uh, I'm so proud how the boys are coming along as a team, as a unit. Uh, some of the football, like I said, is unbelievable. Um, so uh, another great game. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Rebel FC to see that game. Uh, a couple of not put negatives. One of the players who's come back, one of the original boys. Um, one of the best players in the squad. Unbelievable player. But he came to his first game a couple of weeks ago. And we had a little bit of a, not a falling out situation where, you know, he's on the bench. He wasn't happy about being selected, which is fair enough. I appreciate that. But he was on the bench, didn't have his boots on, had his flip-flops on. So I didn't bring him on until late. And then again last night, uh, walking around without his boots on. And then, um, so I didn't bring him on again until late. I said, look, you ready to come on? You got boots on? He said, yes. Boots weren't on, shin pads weren't on. We ended up playing uh, the game with 10 men for um, almost five minutes. Incredibly frustrating because I want to get this player involved. He's a great player. He's a really nice guy, a really nice young man. Unbelievable ability. But it's so frustrating because um, you just wanted to just buy into this this culture we've created now at Rebel, where you know uh, we are we are training and representing ourselves like a professional football club, professional football team, and everyone's coming together. So that was a little bit disappointing. Um, but look, I'm really hopeful that he, he does start to to come along and and, and recognise the benefit of what we're building here at Rebel because uh, he's a, a fantastic player, fantastic talent and uh, I'd love to have him involved a lot more, a lot more often. But at the end of the day, the team comes first. Um, and like I say, the culture that, that we're developing here is really important if you're trying to create that elite type environment. Uh, but there again, but really positive last night. So going forward, looking forward to that and all the new boys coming in and the old, some of the old guys coming out, Lionel coming back from being LA, from having a baby, long time, fantastic, play fantastic. So lots of positives. Uh, another busy day today. Uh, going to hit the gym, like I said, and then I've got a session with uh, David Boitang, a uh, young pro from Palace. I'll tell you what, mate, this kid is going to be a top player. Uh, he played the eight, he's recently moved to the um, into the right-back position. He's so dynamic and explosive. Uh, I think he's really got uh, a massive future in the game. Also, with Wan Bissaka going to United, which looks... Uh, really lightly, I think he's got potentially to explode this season. Look forward to him, then got Je again, then Josh McEachran. Again, he's um, he's waiting for his move to come through to his new club. So making sure keeping him sharp, getting him some technical and more fitness related work with him. And then uh, a couple of sessions after with Morris, uh, the, the big uh, friendly Russian, another fantastic player, uh, young pro. And then got a, play, play, uh, a session with a new client, Ilya, who's uh, a young grassroots player, but is involved in the academy development system. So another good player. So the sun is out, a great day. I'm going to try and show as much as possible, so stay tuned. So the guys in the gym with my man, Teo, abnormal being. What's going on? What are we doing today, Teo? Today we're doing a bit of shoulders, just hitting all three heads, front, middle, rear, just going to smash it. He's putting me through it, beasting me. Absolutely beasting <laughs> me. Yes. So guys, here we are, King's House Sports Ground, uh, West London. Look at this, amazing. One of the best Astro Turfs in London. What an amazing facility. We're going to get some quality content today. Two sessions, like I said. So David first, and then we've got Josh out here with my main man, Owen Stubbs, operations manager, MPFC and PDA in his first first full month. How's it going, Owen? Yeah, mate. Decent, to be fair. Like, 
unreal experience. You have to watch the vlogs to see the pro players, honestly. Watch, watch the top vlogs. Stars. It's been well, some unbelievable players. Owen's been top draw, what a top uh, addition to the companies he's been. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to getting it. Gonna set it up. It's quite a hot, hot day, quite a warm day. So bear in mind, gotta really think about uh, the loading and recovery and the rehydration. But look at this, what a beautiful day to be out. It's, you, something, you know, this is an actual job of doing this for a living. It could be worse, eh? So, good session here with David. David, how was that session? Very, very good. What are we working on today? Finishing, um, shooting across, and um, one-on-ones. One-on-ones. How are you yeah. feeling now? Ready for the new season? Yeah, I'm ready for the season. Ready to take it by storm? Yeah. Take it all for yourself, yeah? Yeah. Tell you what, what top player. Keep your eye on him. He's explosive, dynamic, he's got everything. Thank you. Guys here, Josh McEachern. Good session, Josh. Yeah, it was good. Tough, needed that CV, but it was good. What do we work on today? Uh, fitness, really. First touch, shooting, and then we've done a lot of CV, so explosive movements, which, was, which is what I need. How important is it to do this sort of stuff before you go into pre-season? Yeah, very important. I think it's important you don't overdo yourself, otherwise you'll be like, tired going into pre-season. Just about ticking over, maintaining that fitness, so you're like fully, fully fit going into the season. And what about like um, advice for like younger players who maybe going in? New, new to the game, new pros. How, is import, how important is it for those guys to hit the ground running, if you like, in the first few weeks of the pre-season? Oh, it's massive. That's what the gaffer looks for. If you're struggling in the first two, three weeks pre-season, then he'll consider you not fit for the team. So it's massively important to get these kind of exercises before you go back um, with the team, really, so you hit ground running. And just interesting, like, during a normal season, how much time do you spend working on your technical game away from the team training? In season? Yeah. In season. In season. Um, well, we do a lot of that in training, to be honest. It's more, it's more strength-related work. Yeah. But, um, but I'd say about two, three times a week. And what sort of stuff do you do? Just all, all different stuff, really. Shooting, finishing, first touch, receiving on your back foot, front foot, right foot, left foot. Interesting. Lovely. Good session, mate. Cheers. Finish for today. How was that? That was all right. What are you really working today? That foot, but nobody needs to see that. Right? What's your name? Where'd you come from? Morris, Nasir, from Russia, Moscow. What are you doing here? Training with you. Hopefully, you can get me better. <laughs> better than I was. What are you working today? Uh, cuts, right foot passing, left foot passing, you know, just sharp movement, stuff like that. How was it? Yeah, it was good. It's tiring. You see, I'm some dripping sweat. And you're, you're, pro, you're a pro player. Any yeah. advice for young pros out there, aspiring young pros who want to make it? Uh, listen. Just focus on yourself, which is the most important thing. I know sometimes it's easy to get, you know, you see young players making it and you get a bit nervous, like they're younger than me, they're better than me. Just keep working on yourself. Just keep working. Everybody's got their own talents. Everybody's got their own attributes. Just, just focus on yourself. That's the most, most important thing I can say. 
So there you go, guys. It is now at six o'clock on a Thursday night. That is it for me. Last session done. So finished off those two sessions. I had Morris, young pro, uh, young pro from Russia. I've been working with him for many years. Uh, inspirational story. Right, literally from the playground, from the, from the park straight to the pro to the pro pitch over a couple of years. And then Ilias, there, young uh, U10 player who's on the fringes of an academy in the development squad. So nice, a busy day. It's hot. It's about 25, 26 degrees. Uh, so it's been a productive day. Uh, got a bit of a session in the gym now. I'm going to go home, chill out a bit with my, my baby daughter, relax a bit, and then tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, not that busy, quite a nice day. Just chill out in the morning. I've got a session again with Max Aarons and his, uh, and probably Arthur again, and then uh, and chill out from the Friday. So, not bad end to the week. It's been a hectic couple of weeks, and um, trying to see if I can take Sunday off. And then next week again, next week, looking forward to it. We've got a couple of new clients starting, so uh, lots going on as ever.